Hi friends, I'm Laura. This is Baker Drinks. Today I will be trying another cheap, easy to find bottle of whiskey, trying it neat and trying it in a cocktail to let you know what I think. So for today, I've got the Jim Beam Repeal Batch. So this is non-chill filtered. It is 43% alcohol, 86 proof. I believe it was less than $20, so that's a good price for a bottle of whiskey. This says, this limited edition bourbon is a tribute to the 85th anniversary of Prohibition's repeal. When it ended on December 5th, 1933, James B. Beam and his family rebuilt the distillery in just 120 days. This brought the Beam family recipe and some say bourbon itself back to life. Well, that is very special because apparently this is what brought bourbon back to life. So it's non-chill filtered, uh, low proof, beam. It should be easy to drink, nutty, sweet, delicious, I'm sure. But let's, let's, I'd say pop the cork, but let's unscrew the cap and uh, see how it is. So if you know me, you know that I like nutty bourbons. I like Jack Daniels, anything by Jim Beam, whether that's Knob Creek or Baker's or um, Booker's, any of them. I enjoy, I like that nutty flavor. I expect that that's what we'll find in this glass, but you never know. Sometimes these bottles are a little off their profile, but usually not the cheap ones. The cheap ones usually stick to what you would expect. Actually, maybe I take that back because I am not getting a whole lot of nuttiness on the first sniff, but maybe it'll come through on the palate. Um, it actually has a decent amount of barrel char on the nose, which I don't usually expect from these low proof non-age stated cheap whiskeys because I mean I don't know how old this is it doesn't say it does say Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey so I would guess since it does not have an age that it's two years old could be wrong <laughs> please tell me if I am um, I don't know everything I just know what's available and there's not a whole lot of information on here other than that it's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey so let's try it cheers Now the palette's more what I was expecting. It's sweet and it's nutty and it's actually not as sweet as I would originally have thought. It's actually pretty balanced, uh, 86 proof. So it does fade pretty quickly, but there is a little spiciness when it first hits the tongue, gets a little tingly, gets a little excited, and then it kind of fades after you swallow it. But I mean, I don't, I don't really have anything terrible to say about this. Tastes like what I'd expect. Has a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of nutty, sweet, barrel char. And you know what? For $20 or less, I think it was less than $20. I don't have a receipt, so I can't say for sure, but pretty sure less than $20. Um, sitting on the shelf, a little bit low on the shelf, but you still should be able to find it. Anyway, it's, it's, it's solid for the price. So now that I've tried it neat, I don't drink a lot of these neat. I buy them so I can make cocktails and it is officially summer now. So I feel like I wanted something that makes me think summer. So today I'm going to try a strawberry jam smash. Um, I don't have any fresh strawberries, so the recipe was supposed to be strawberry jam and strawberries, but I'm sure it'll be fine without those couple strawberries. But before I get into the recipe, I just want to remind you, if you saw my previous video, I am planning a giveaway for when I hit a thousand subscribers. So the best way to get me there is to subscribe, of course, and then let me know if you like Jim Beam products. That's all you gotta do. Just comment, subscribe, 
follow me. Let me know what you think. So the giveaway when I hit a thousand will be Blanton's, Eagle Rare, Henry McKenna. So let's get into the recipe. So this says that we will muddle strawberry jam, uh, strawberries if I had them, mint, and lemon wedges. So let's try that. So my strawberry jam, there's <laughs> nothing fancy about this. It's actually last year's strawberries that I made into jam. Um, I was expecting there to still be some strawberries out there, but it uh, looks like last week was the end of the strawberry season for me. Uh, so we'll just stick with the jam. So it says two tablespoons strawberry jam. I think that's about what I put in. And then two wedges of lemon. And quarter cup of mint. I think that's about a quarter cup. We'll say it is. I like mint, so it's okay if it's a little extra. And then uh, we just muddle the ingredients. So I want all that juiciness from the lemon to get in there. The more you muddle, the more uh, bitter it gets because you get more of that lemon peel into the mixture. Um, so this would be, if you were just making it without the jam, you would add simple syrup, but uh, we don't need that because there's plenty of sugar in strawberry jam. Actually, the first time that I enjoyed drinking scotch <laughs> was in a cocktail kind of like this. Uh, I believe it I believe it was from Shaker and Spoon. Uh, we did that cocktail box thing for a while, and one of them was a scotch whiskey. Ooh, it just splashed that all over me. Um, <laughs> one of them was a scotch whiskey, and it included strawberry jam and probably lemon juice. It was tart and sweet, and it was very good. Um, so that's kind of what I expect this to be. Um, and then, I will need two ounces of bourbon. Let's see. About one and a half. About another half. Okay, two ounces of bourbon. Maybe this will be kind of like peanut butter and jelly with the uh, strawberry jam and the nuttiness of the whiskey. We will see. So it's just to shake it. And then I just strain this into a glass with ice. Okay. And then top with club soda. because I like drinks with straws in it. Garnish with a little mint, make it seem fancy. Here we go, let's try it. Oh, that's tasty. That reminds me of, it's very mint julepy. There's a lot of that, but a little more tart than you would get with a mint julep. I like the addition of the strawberry jam to it. Anyway, I hope you like this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.